Hope is Canada's chainsaw carving capital of the world, and it doesn't take long after arriving to see why. The town boasts over 80 beautiful wood carvings, just like this bench. Today we're taking you on a tour to see all of these beautiful wood sculptures. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. Hope is in the Fraser Valley, right where Highway 1, 3, and 5 all converge. Located about two hours east of Vancouver, two and a half hours west of Kelowna, or about two hours south of Kamloops. It's a picturesque small town of about 6,000 people, nestled in between the coastal and Cascade mountain ranges. The temporary visitor center is located at 919 Water Avenue, as a new permanent structure is being planned and built. This is where our adventure begins today. We're just coming from the Hope Visitor Center right now, and man, they were amazing. Right now they're only open 10 until 2. Normally they're open 10 till 4. We just showed up because we were going to do the tour on our own, but they actually came out. It's before 9 and they came out and asked us if we needed any help. Hey, you know, so that was perfect. They gave us so much information, brochures, a map. So thank you very much, Brian. Now we're going to start the tour. I just, I really love the detail in these. Like this little guy has a mouse in his beard and like a face on his walking stick. Like it's just, the detail is just incredible. His name is Owen. Hello, Owen. <laughs> I think he's a gold panner. That's all I got. <laughs> This self-guided tour is a easy walk around town. It takes about two hours to complete. If you really want to challenge yourself, we've made a scavenger hunt that you can print for free off of our website, homearome.com, and we'll link to it in the video description below too. Every two years, the City of Hope hosts a chainsaw carving competition that attracts master carvers from around the local area and internationally to compete in a four-day competition where they turn a log into a marvelous piece of art. The next competition is scheduled for the end of August of this year, 2021. We'll put more details in the description below. This event is a huge community initiative to support artists and this unique craft. The Hope Communities in Bloom organization supplies the cedar logs. The artists just have to sign up and get themselves there. Each carver is given the freedom to create anything they like. There are no specific guidelines. The result is an amazing mix of animals, mythical creatures, and tributes to local heroes. We asked Brian at the Visitor Center what happens to the statues after the contest is over, and he told us that many of them stay in the town, and a few are auctioned off for private collections. The auction helps raise funds to support future events and the ongoing care of the carvings. These services are all organized and run by volunteers in the community. There are so many beautiful carvings to see. We're not gonna share them all with you today, we just don't have the time. But if you see one that you like, hit that like button. We encourage you to come out and have a little walk and see them for yourself. It's a great way to support the community and the local art scene. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We really appreciate it. And in the meantime, Keep, Keep on, on living the life you've imagined. And action. 
today we're taking you on a walking tour of to see every two years the city of hope hosts a car hope hosts a t carving competition that take that it every two year this every two year Frick. we encourage the keep going you can print off the scavenger shunt the scavenger shunt link to it in the description below and in the meantime keep on living <laughs> no nope.